<clears throat> Corn Craig Ale from the Orkney Brewery. Now that is a good drop. Anyway, enough of the booze. I'm going to show you how I make pheasant Dijons. First of all, I get this pheasant. It's been very well hung. Hung possibly 10 days, this one. And I put them in to some flour. Get a good coat of flour like that. There's actually some Italian herbs in this. A wee bit of Parmesan cheese, uh, salt, black pepper. Just put anything you like and really make it a wee bit of taste. So there you have it. Nicely coated in flour. Then dipped into egg. Beaten egg. Like that. Drain off excess egg. And then get homemade breadcrumbs which have been mixed with quite a lot of Parmesan cheese. Get a real good turnover, coat it like so. And there you have the goujon. Probably got about 20 goujons to do here. Can't run out of beer at this rate. So that's the goujons all prepared. Beautiful coating on them, nice wee bit of cheese and pepper and Italian herbs all mixed in there. And the beauty of this recipe is you can actually put the ones that you don't use in the freezer for later use. So there you go. We're going to get the chips and other stuff ready, but for now I need another beer. Now I'm going to try and explain how to get the perfect chip. Two ways of getting a chip, possibly three, go down the chip shop and get a chip. You can be a right lazy arse and go down and buy frozen chips, which is really, really bad. I make them yourself for buttons. These are Mary's Piper potatoes, and I've actually boiled these until they're mm, not too bad, quite soft. Dried them right out, and we're going to place them in the chip pan and make decent chips like we used to get when we were kids. The goujons are now in, they're looking pretty damn good and I'm going to cook those for approximately four to five minutes or until they turn golden. <coughs> Look at those! Five minutes in the frying pan you've got pheasant goujons but in reality if you can't get hold of pheasant Use chicken. It's so simple. And this is the whole thing with cooking for yourself. It's dead easy. It's not rocket science. Don't be lazy. It takes five minutes of your time. And you end up with a product that is absolutely fresh and wonderful to eat. So we're going to simply serve this up. Some fresh rocket. Few chips. Pheasant goujons. And our beautiful dips. So here we have it. A homemade super duper chili jam. Oh! That is, that's really good. I've also got this mayonnaise and garlic dip that we're going to try with the pheasant goujon. That is absolutely wonderful wild food that costs nothing. I hope you really try to cook this with pheasant or chicken, possibly even fish, because the results are something else. <laughs>